This is a literal reading of part of Colossians in chapter 2. This is the Woost Word Studies in the Greek New Testament, volume 1. And when I was tabbing it out right here, I f stumbled upon this. And I was like, whoa. So he says, he says right here that, And you being dead with reference to your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he gave life together with him having in grace forgiven you all your trespasses, having obliterated the bond consisting of ordinances, the one against us which was directly opposed to us, and it he removed out of the midst with the result that it is no longer there, having nailed it to the cross, having stripped off and away from himself the principalities and authorities. He boldly made an example of them, leading them in triumph in it, Stop, therefore, allowing anyone to be sitting in judgment upon you in eating or drinking or in the matter of a feast day or a new moon or a Sabbath day, which things are a shadow of those things about to come, but the body belongs to Christ. Let no one as a judge declare you unworthy of a reward, taking delight in a self-imposed humility and a worship of the angels, scrutinizing minutely the things he has seen, being futilely puffed up by the mind of the flesh, and not holding fast the head, out from whom all the body, through the instrumentality of the joints and ligaments, being constantly supplied with nourishment and being constantly compacted together, increases with the increase wrought by God. So I particularly like this because they worship messengers, which are preachers. That's where you get the word evangelist. It's from you, a well message. So they scrutinizing minutely the things he has seen. So what it actually has the idea of is um, they are worshiping these pastors. So anyways, I hope that this helps and thanks for watching. Bye.